So, hey guys, Chaozu here. So yeah, we got the big news drop ahead of tomorrow, which starts the memorable scene, Super Suko Fest, which debuts the new Roger and Whitebeard and uh, Luffy crew. So yeah, we are going to go through the news here. I thought I'd start by talking about the fact that Global didn't get all the news that JP did. I've seen a few people panic that uh, Global is going to get shafted. Well, we're going, not going to get these events, games and such. But I'd say just relax. Like they're still figuring out the sync and such. It will probably be rocky for a while. And one of the news Global didn't get is the uh, point event that starts tomorrow, which includes the new GARP unit. And that's downloaded into Global, so we're definitely getting that. So, yeah, it's not a big deal. We'll get those news at a later date. Anyway, I think we'll start at the bottom and work our way up. And the bottom is the confirmation that we're indeed getting a Pirate Alliance Blitz battle against the Navy. Uh, this is pretty fun in <laughs> several ways. Uh, firstly, this is basically a rehash of the World Cruise event like exactly a year ago where we did a Worldwide Blitz against the Navy and we also had a new Roger Legend debuting so. Uh, the difference this time of course is that it's still a Worldwide Blitz but it's, this time it's also a Pirate Alliance Blitz. The first Pirate Alliance Blitz on Global. I think JP has had one or two. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's one. They had that where you could get the Don Jin Jiao units. And this is also the first Blitz on Global for a long, 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 long time, almost a year now. And it's because we kept changing Blitz events from JP to point events, which was fine. So yeah, let's take a quick look here, I guess. They're even adding a website to check the rankings, so that's nice. Basically, there's going to be four different types of rewards. First, we have the worldwide rankings, and then we have the global rankings. And both the worldwide ranking and global ranking is divided into personal ranking and alliance ranking. So four different types of ranking, and each gives different rewards. The best rewards overall is the personal ranking for the global version, which is good since it's easier to rank in global than worldwide. Let's hope that I was correct in that and I didn't mix things up. We'll take a look here. Ranking rewards worldwide. Yeah, personal rewards is just event exclusive titles. So yeah, I don't really care about these. I know many people do, but yeah. You do you, I won't be playing for these, but there are other stuff worth playing for. Uh, Worldwide Alliance ranking events, you get some bounty and some gems. So it's pretty nice, I think, that the worldwide thing isn't too important. It's a nice bonus, nice to feel some inclusion between JP and Global, but reward-wise, not a big deal at all. The big deal, however, is the global ranking, especially the personal ranking, because as you see, uh, this is where the big games are. Like, none, none of us are going to get any high places, I'm sure, but we can check like top 100 and top 50. And yeah, it's still respectable. Like at top 100, you still get 60 gems, two gold keys. So I might see if I can get that. Like I'll have all the new units. I'll have free time, so might as well make the best of it. Mm. It's actually not that, not that much worse to be top 500. The big deal is one less gold key and one less ticket, but I don't really care about the ticket. And it looks like we're getting JP style tickets nowadays. No more one year red tickets, but that was expected. To be honest, these rewards are very good. Like top 1000 rewards are still good. Like even top 3000 is still 40, 40 gems. So yeah, can't complain now about the rewards. Oh, that's, was that Alliance ranking? No. This is personal ranking rewards. The next one says personal ranking, but this is Alliance ranking, yeah. 
I was confused. Yeah, some extra gems. It's nice that uh, it's not too important how your alliance does, but it's more important what yourself do. The alliance thing is just a bonus. I'm a fan of that. Uh, we also have some shopman rewards, and the big deal here is we're getting our guaranteed final tap tablet here. We were expecting this. This is the one where we get it from. We also get a new Sengoku unit, so during this event we'll get both a new Garp and a new Sengoku. This Sengoku has not been added to the game yet, so we don't know what he does yet, but we do know he will be boosted. And we also get two Odin Skulls here, and we get one Odin Skull from the point event. So I'm not sure how we're going to get the final two, because I assume you need two, need five. Like Yamato only need one, but why are we getting three if only we need one? So yeah, we just have to wait and see about that. And yeah, boost effects. Obviously the new legends and new rare recruits will be boosted highly. Odin is also boosted highly, which might be pretty scummy if we can't super evolve Odin for this event without pulling him in 6 plus. Like, like in my world, we, we should be able to get the final skulls here. But I don't know how we're getting the final skulls. Yeah, hopefully I'm misunderstanding something about this because it would be really scum if we can't have 6 plus Odin. At least the 6 star Odin is also boosted, so that's something at least. It's not as good, but like if you have the new legends, Odin will probably just be a point stick, he won't really matter too much. But it depends on the event, we don't know anything about it yet. Uh, the new rare recruits and free to play units are also boosted highly. And then there's a lot of uh, Wano and Navy related units that are 1.1 times point events. So yeah, there will be some option at least if you don't pull. Like you see, there's some really good straw hat parries here, like the 1000 log straw hat and such. So yeah, Yamato as well. So all the, all the last Super Sugo captains are also boosted. So yeah, should be able to make a pretty good team for this. Uh, I'm pretty excited since we haven't had a Blitz for so long, and the fact that I can play since I am on uh, winter break now from my work. We also have some Rainbow Gem sales. And yeah, it looks really good to be honest. We're getting some of the Odin surprise bags from last uh, new year. Uh, I'm not sure if I will buy these. I need to compare prices and such. Since I assume this will cost the same as the 300 gem pack, but you get 100 less gems. And I don't really think that the stuff you get is worth it. At least not for me, because I'm not missing that much. But the 300 gem pack can be bought three times. Yeah, that makes me very happy to see. See, I've been saving up for this event for a few months. Because I knew it was the sink as well. So yeah, I'll be buying quite a few gems here. But it's supposed to be for more than just this Sugofest. It's supposed to be for the upcoming Treasure Map Sugofest. Stuff like that. See, I'm excited that we finally have good gem deals on Global. Like, they're still more expensive than on JP. But compared to before, on Global, it's night and day. The gem packs we get on sale are actually pretty good value now. At least if you're a spender. Uh, we get a confirmation of the new Odin Super Evolution. I'll probably make a separate video about this because I don't think many people understand right now how insane this 6 plus is. Like, I had someone ask me before, like, who is most valuable, the new Super Sugo Legends or Yamato? And I was like, uh, honestly, like, with 6 plus Odin, like, Yamato's value. Is a lot lower now, like don't get me wrong, Yamato is still insane. But if you have Odin, you won't miss Yamato as much as you would before. He's on that level, I'd say. Moving on, we have the Odin uh, Super Sugo Fest. Honestly, I thought this would be insane bait, but it looks pretty mid, to be honest. Like, it's the only way to get Odin, so if you don't have him, you probably want him because of his insane buffs. But at the same time, he's a pretty old Super Sugo now, so he'd probably be pretty easy to get in future Super Sugo events. So, 
I wouldn't say this is a top priority, especially since uh, uh, the legend pool isn't that amazing. Like it has some units that aren't on the other part. Uh, some big ones are like the 1000 logs straw hats, it's the Wivy and the Marco. I know those three are only on this part, but like they are also on the merch Sugo, of course. So yeah, I don't really recommend this, even if you don't have Odin, I'd say there are other priorities now. But in the end, your gems, you decide. I don't really like recommending how to spend gems in general. Finally, we have the main event, the Super Sugo Fest. Part 1 is dropping in less than 24 hours. And based on the info here, I might actually pull a bit on part 1. We'll get to that soon. So yeah, 50% chance of Legends, and I know this hypes people, but if you're a veteran, a long time player, this is not an exciting thing. This means that every step up with Legends is a lot worse than a normal uh, 10 Legend banner. Because this is confirmed to be 30 Legends every part. So that means the rates on guaranteed Legend step ups are 30 Legends split with equal rates as opposed to a 10 legend sugo where 10 legends are split with equal rates on the 10 legend sugo it's 10 percent chance to get any legend but on a 30 legend sugo it turns out to be 3.33 percent per legend so yeah that's a big difference and it also often means that the limited pools and super limited pools are a lot less impressive than they will be on a 10 Legend Suga Fest. But yeah, <clears throat> they basically confirm here that the new Roger and Newgate and Luffy, and Luffy Crew are uh, Super Suga Fest exclusives, which we we are pretty sure they will be. And yeah, basically on part one, you can get Roger and Whitebeard, as well as Luffy Crew. Then on part two, you can get Roger and Whitebeard, and part three, Luffy Crew. And yeah, they will be boosted for the new events, like usual. And as I said, each part has 30 characters. And if you want all Super Sugo Fest exclusive, you have to pull on part 2 and 3. Part 2 has Yamato, uh, Last Tap Luffy, Last Tap Kid. And then part 3 has Yamato, Last Tap Law and Gold Roger. And yeah. They just confirm here that to get Yamato skulls in the future, we'll be able to get them from the Kisuna shop. So buy them now if you haven't. And they also confirm that we'll get one single free multi on the Super Sugo Fest. But that won't be until the final part goes live. So I can understand why they do that. They don't want to risk not baiting some people on part one. But I don't want the backlash from no free multis. So yeah, there's some they will be able to make some more money by doing this. Seems some people that get lucky will have already pulled when they do the free multi. See, I can't complain, like there's really no rush to pull. So yeah, if you want to wait for the free multi, go for it. They go through the effects a bit of the legends. I've already made two extensive videos on this, as well as one on the Luffy Crew final tap. I went boost. And yeah, this is the news we didn't get separately on Global. It's about the point that went with Garp. So they just confirm the boost these new units get. And we can see that we know at least that the new legends do three additional drops. And uh, new rare is one additional drop. This is one of those events where you farm drops and you need like 500 drops to finish the event and get all shop and man reward. And yeah, they also boosted for the blitz. Event period, part one drops in less than 24 hours. Two days later is part two. And two days after that, it's part three. It's a shame they do it like this. It would have been a lot better if it was the same day, but they've obviously made part one a bit worse. It might be better in some way. We'll have to wait and see. 
But like only having two Super Super Quest exclusives on part one is of course a drawback for many people. Here's the steps. We know about we've known about them for a while. And yeah. It's usual like on JP Debbie Sugo, it's not that enticing. And the only reason people are pulling is because it's a Super Sugo Fest. It's the FOMO strategy. We know they won't do another Super Sugo Fest until JP Annie in May. So, yeah. Part one uh, is pretty decent. Like the only new <coughs> legends from the merge, merge Sugo is the Super Class Legends. That's cool. So personally, I'm missing, of course, the new legends as well as the super class category. And to talk a bit about part one, uh, the reason I might pull here, like in the end, it depends on the individual legend rates. And this is only really a thing for part one, because historically on part one, Panda has been very, very sneaky, especially on JP with how they with what rates they give the new legends. Like for example, on the Zoro and Kaido debut, which is Zoro with Kaido, they split the rates in half. So despite being 30 legends Sugo, it wasn't rated like that because they split Zoro and Kaido in half. So they were rated like one unit together and then they just boosted the rates of everybody else to reach the rates. That means we can't assume anything here. They've done stuff like that multiple times. So like usually this structure should mean <coughs> that the new Roger and Whitebeard and Luffy crew will be 0.5% rate each, 1% total. If that happens, I'm definitely pulling part one, at least until I get one legend. And like if I get Luffy crew, I can just keep pulling because I'm getting at least one Luffy crew a dupe for final tap since I plan to max it. But like if they start to do shenanigans with the rate, lower them down, like I think 0.8% total is my, uh, it's what I can accept. If it's up that or above, I will pull on part one. If it's below that, like sure, you still have maybe a higher rate than part two and three. But if you get shafted, there's no guarantee. So it's more easy to get shafted too when the steps aren't that amazing. So yeah, basically to not pull on part two and part three, uh, the value of part one needs to be high enough. And that's my personal breaking point. And I know some people will still pull on part one, even if Bandai do a stum scummy stuff with the rates because they can't wait two more days. and. I'm not happy about waiting two more days either if I have to, but it is what it is in the end. I won't pull if part one is not worth it. And yeah, I think it's funny that Basil Hawkins is super limited when you see the other <laughs> Legends that are super limited. And part two, we also got some decent units. We, got, we went through the Super Super exclusives, but you still have uh, we, we treat Doffy, the superclass Doffy. And other new good units like King, Bonnie, Ace for Shaka Inu, so it's pretty decent. And then finally on part 3, you also have... Uh, yeah, part 3 doesn't look... Oh, we're not at part 3 yet. I, I thought that looks super weird. Here's part 3. There we go. Yeah, here we also have Perona and Lucci. So yeah, part three looks pretty good thanks to that, I say. It even has Katakuri, so like, personally speaking, I'd love to pull on part three because I'm actually missing five legends here. It's pretty crazy. So yeah, that, to, to be honest, since I'm lacking so many legends on part three, if I get Luffy Crew on part one, I will probably not pull anymore because why not pull on part three where I lack so many stuff? You know, I'll probably do it like that. Like, there's not any rush to get the Luffy Crew dupe. There's not any rush to get Roger either. I can just pull on part two. 
So yeah, that's probably my plan. Pull on part one. If it turns out to be good enough, just get one of the new legends. Stop. Pull on part two or three and or three. So yeah, that's my personal plan. Uh, so yeah. Sadly, we won't wait until the Sugo drops before we know if it's worth or not. So uh, I, I won't make a video about it, but I might post on my YouTube comments if the Sugo is worth pulling on part one. But in the end, you should always check rates yourself before pulling. Don't be one of those that pulls without thinking. Always do the research. But yeah, that's all I have to say. I'll have a lot of content dropping tomorrow, of course, together with this Super Sugo Fest, even if I pull or not. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.